Hey everyone. Today we are going to solve Danny Ma's case study challenge, case study number 1, Danny's dinner. Okay? It's an SQL challenge. I'll just scroll down. So basically has given some tables as you see, sales table with some customer and product data, then members data, when did the customer become a member, then some data about menu. As you can see, we also have some sample data given here. And we have the script to actually run this and insert it into our table. So he has given the script as well. And then we are going to try and solve some of these questions, case study questions. Okay. Let me go back to my uh, portal. So I have the first, uh, you know, create and insert statements ready. So I'll just run them one by one. So I, I'm using my own database called cricket. And I'm inserting this data. Okay. So this is done. Basically, this is I'm giving it a name sales one. Then let me use the same procedure to run and create like the members table and then insert data into the members table. Step number two. And then same thing we'll do for the menu, right? The name of the products is there in this table. And I can insert, right? Very simple. So now once this is done, now let's see, these are the questions. Okay. Let's, let's first check the tables. So one table is definitely sales, right? I've given it a name sales one. So what do we have here? If I just make it bigger. So we have customer ID, order date and the product ID. Okay. This is sales table. Then we have a menu table which is nothing but the uh, three products that are served at this restaurant, sushi, curry and ramen and their respective price. And I think we have a members table also. So members table, like only two customers A and B have joined membership. So when did they join that data is here. Okay. Now let's try to solve questions one by one. What is the total amount each customer spent at the restaurant? Okay. Total amount. So for that, we have the product ID, but we want to combine it with the menu table. So we get the product price also, right? So I can as start as I can do a dot star and then B dot star. Okay. So from this table, call it a join with the menu table, call it B on uh, a. so both tables have a common thing as product ID. So we can join on that. And then, yeah, let's run this and see what we get. So now we get right both the product ID columns because I'm selecting everything from both tables. So now for each customer, we also have the prices because we have the product name and price. And the question is, what is the total amount each customer spent at the restaurant? So from this, it becomes pretty simple. So we can say um, a dot customer ID, right? We just need that. And from B, we can just do the sum of B dot price and uh, group by A dot customer ID. And when I run this, I see, okay, uh, A has spent 76, uh, B has spent $74, C has spent $36. Okay. We can call this total spent, right? Total amount spent or total spent. So we get this. Okay. I'll just save all these queries in a new tab and I'll put that file in the description section. Okay. This is question number one. So that is done. Let's move to question two. How many days each customer has visited the restaurant? Okay. So for this, we just need the first table. Let me go back to the first table and we have the customer ID and the order date. So how do we find this? So for each customer, we want to count the distinct order dates, right? As number of days, they have visited the restaurant and group by um, customer ID, right? Simple question. As you see, yes, visited on four days, B on six and C on two days. Okay. I'm going to back this up here. So that was question two, number of days each customer visited the restaurant. 
then go to question 3 what was the first item from the menu purchased by each customer okay again i'm going to do star first item in the menu purchased by each customer so we want to see what did they purchase on the first order date okay how can we do this so let me select everything first step let me say rank over and then obviously i want to partition by each customer so i'll say partition by customer id and order by order date right to give it ascending order and and say as ranking from this table and as you see customer id a has ordered both product 1 and 2 right that's the first rank for customer id b it's product 2 and for customer id c it is product 3 and right? that is ranking equal to 1 so what can we do here we can like in order to get the product id we can join it with the menu table so let me call this a and let me join cricket dot menu one b on a dot product id equal to b dot product id right this is step number one and say i don't want to show everything here or like i can show everything a dot star i can say b dot product id right So when I join this and run, let's see what we get. We also get the product ID again from the B table. Uh, and I actually want the name. So let's quickly run a star statement from the menu table to see what is the actual column name for the product name. Okay, so I can just select this part and run it. And it's actually product name, okay. So I don't want the product ID, I'll just want the product name. Okay, now I get, okay. So basically sushi and curry, right? They are the items customer ordered in the first time. And then if I scroll down for B, we get it's actually curry. And then for C, it is ramen, okay? And if I wanna show just ranking equal to one, what can we do? We can put this whole thing into a CT, let's say with final as, and then simply select star from final where the ranking equal to one it's a pretty tricky question but good one then we know okay we see uh, c has ordered uh, ramen like twice on the same day so for a it was sushi and curry for b it was curry for c it was ramen right so this is what they ordered in their first go first order date so let me just save this query also here Okay, that's question number three done. What is the most purchase item on the menu? How much, how many times was it purchased by all customers? Okay. So let me keep this join still intact. So I want to see the most purchased item. So I'll just remove these parts. So basically I can say uh, p.product name and just do a count star i think this should work and group by b dot product name okay let's see and we see sushi has ordered three times curry four times ramen is the most favorite been ordered eight times okay i'll save this so that's question number four done fifth one which item was most popular for each customer so for customer, then we can just select a dot customer ID and let's do b dot product name also and then do uh, count star and then group by a dot customer ID comma b dot product name. Okay, so for each customer, which product was popular? Let's run this. And there you go. So for A, obviously ramen is popular. For B, curry, sushi, ramen, all are popular. For C, it's again ramen, which is popular. Right? 
So if we want to show like the most popular for each, again, what could we do? We could basically save this as total and we can say with, let's say final as, right? I'll put this in a with clause. And let's select customer ID, comma, product name. What name have I given here? Total, right? So I can say rank over partition by customer ID and then order by the total value descending. And this is what is going to be ranking from final. So we see for A and if you want to see total also, I can also add that here just for reference. So for A, we see it's ramen. For B, we see all the three curry, sushi, ramen are popular. And for C also, it is ramen. Okay. So we could add the further with clause and say where ranking equal to one. But I hope you got the approach for this question. So I'll also save this. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which item was purchased first by the customer after they became a member? Okay. So for this, we need to probably join with the members table. So let me join with the members table. It's members one and the common link is and not all are members. So we can use left join for safety. So I can say on customer ID on a.customerid equal to b.customerid and let me just select everything for starters and then we can dive deep. Okay, so this is the join date. A joined on 7th Jan, B joined on 9th Jan, C has not joined yet. And going back to the question, which item was the most popular, uh, sorry, which item was purchased the first by the customer after they became a member? Okay, so after they became a member means the order date should be greater than or equal to join date. Okay. So we can put that as a condition where a dot order date greater than or equal to b dot join date. If I put that condition, you see a lot of other stuff go away, right? Only a and b are left. Customer C is not a member yet. So he's not even in the picture. So in this, what comes first for a obviously product ID two, and uh, then for B it's uh, product ID one. Okay. So how do we uh, now break this down? Again, we have to just do a uh, rank, right? You can say um, rank over uh, then let's say partition by customer ID partition by let's say a dot customer ID order by order date. Okay. So we're going to do ascending order. I'll give it a name ranking. And let's see what we get. So we get for A, it's product ID two and for B, it is product ID one. So to get product IDs, we can also join on cricket dot menu one using product ID. And I call this uh, C not B, right? It's a new table. And from C, I can also get product name. So I'll say C dot product name. Okay, so we get for A, it was um, basically curry, I think, and for B, it was sushi, right, which was ordered the first time after they became a member. So to do that, what can we do? You can put all this in a CT again, I'll just say with final as, and then select everything from that table, where ranking equal to one. Select star from final where ranking equal to one. Okay. So this will give us, uh, okay. We have two columns which are duplicate. So let me just select a dot customer ID comma a dot ranking and uh, B dot product name. Let's see if this works. Okay, there's still a duplicate name. So let me say uh, B dot 
customer uh, b dot customer id as customer id then b dot join date okay if i write it like this it should work a dot customer id unknown column so this should not be a dot remove the I mean we are selecting it from final so I can remove all this and this will work so for a it is curry and for b it's sushi the first item they ordered after they became a member let me also save this okay so we have done up to question six which item was purchased just before the customer became a member? Let's see this. So before the customer became a member, so I'll just remove this part. And basically we can say order date less than B dot join date, right? So before they became a member and I can remove this which statement and let's run this and see so before they became a member obviously for a it is sushi and curry for b it is curry and for uh, c c is not going to come because yeah c is still not a member right so we shouldn't ideally consider that so you can do this and just then put a with clause and say from ranking equal to one it will work okay this is the item they purchased before becoming a member. So we have done up to question seven. Stay tuned for the second part. We'll, we'll finish uh, the remaining questions and also see how to solve some other advanced topics here. So if we scroll down, as you see, they wanted to join all the things and also rank all the things. So there are some bonus questions and three more questions here. We'll continue that in part two. I hope you like the video. Comment down below which is your favorite item among sushi, ramen and curry. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.